Hello friends, it is day one of the Parade of Homes for, well for us, it's technically day three. It's Rex and I are taking you on a tour of Parade Home number one. We are in beautiful Stone Cliff. I'm, if you've been following this channel for a while, you know I'm, I'm biased and partial to Stone Cliff. It is by far one of the most pristine neighborhoods in St. George and Southern Utah, really. It doesn't get any more upscale than this. It's got gated entrance. There's 360 degree views. People drive Bentleys. Um, what else can I tell you about Stone Cliff? The home that we're about to see is by Anderson Custom Homes. It is a four bedroom, six bathroom, single story home with a nine car garage. And it is 6,700 square feet. Should be pretty impressive. Oh, in case if you're wondering, where's Michon? We're somewhere in the range of about two weeks, maybe less, out from uh, her giving birth. And we figured that rushing to the hospital from shooting Parade of Homes might not be the best idea. So this is the nine, <clears throat> nine car garage home, huh? Looks like it's got a double RV and then a bay for two more. Hi, how are you guys? Good, how about you? Good. Here's a bag for you to put your shoes in. Thank you. Morning, how are you? Go ahead. Sorry, there's a bunch of people walking by. As if I was planning, check out these socks. <laughs> no, really, check them out. <laughs> it, was, it was not really well planned, or maybe, maybe it was. I knew that at some point I had to take my shoes off. This is a sweet office. This is a ridiculous amount of light. So it's the double RV bay. <laughs> Oh, would you park in here if you didn't have two Mastercraft boats? Take a look at that kitchen. It's massive. This is a sweet uh, dual countertop setup with a second massive island. Let's think about how many people you could entertain in this kitchen. Built-in Thermidor or Viking. I love these panel fridges. Wolf appliances. It's a dual microwave. Dual oven. The butler pantry just kind of goes forever. Sometimes people that like actually already live in a home have this level of OCD in their pantry. I absolutely love that. I love the products of OCD. I don't have it myself. Michonne does a little bit, but not not quite to this level. Massive slider. He's got one, two, three, four, five, six, six sections for things to slide back and forth. That's incredible. So that's a pool bedroom with um, this little powder room that's accessible right from the pool. Imagine shooting a ball off the table on accident in that direction. <laughs> or do you break, I suppose you break in this direction, huh? 
The kitchen is over there. Look at the exposed fireplace. That looks so good. This is the guest suite. Looks like there's a nice built-in here for a little table. Two large windows. Tie up the ceiling is definitely a must. One of the one of the master suites. This home has the right amount of square footage for bedrooms and bathrooms. I think it's like 6,700 square feet and only four bedrooms, which is, in my opinion, ideal because you end up with six to 800 square foot bedrooms. There's some detail with the wallpaper. Looks like wallpaper is back in. Proper master bath. Yeah. It's just the right size, huh? It was timed out. Right. Dual floating vanity, some under vanity lighting, beautiful cabinets. That's massive. This is bath number five, I think. Check out that floating countertop too. Sweet looking light fixture in a laundry room. I love these leather finished countertops. Take a look at the hardware on that sink too. Really chic looking. I love this flooring too. Are those bedrooms just as massive? No, I no, don't only one. They're decently sized, but they also have their own bathrooms. I think everything. So there's six bathrooms in this house. Every one of them has an ensuite plus two extras. Oh my gosh. Oh man, waterfall countertop with a floating vanity. I've never seen it done before. That looks so good. Single window. And there's the waterfall edge on this counter as well. I love this whole color combination. Just some cool built-ins. This garage actually has a bay over there and a bay in this direction. Folks, I have absolutely loved this home. If you know me, you know how much I truly appreciate Stone Cliff. The views, the proximity to everything, the privacy of that neighborhood, and this home had just the perfect combination of bedrooms and bathrooms and square footage. But I'm curious, what do you feel about this home? What did you like the most? Drop us a comment below and be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss any of our future videos. I will see you in the next one.